Breaking right now at 3 o'clock, Butler County investigators are releasing new documents detailing what led to an arrest in the murder of Caitlin Markham. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Amber J. Young. And I'm Megan O'Rourke. Markham's fiance at the time of her death, John Carter, is accused of killing her. Now, Jessica Schmidt is looking through the newly released records for us from the alert desk. Jessica. And this is just the start of our coverage because, as you can imagine, there was a lot to unpack here. In fact, we have 25 pages of court records that were just released to us today. This does include the February 2023 request to search the Fairfield home that John Carter lived in back in 2011, a list of what was taken during that search and evidence that investigators say ultimately led to John Carter's arrest. Now you may recall that Caitlin Markham disappeared from her Fairfield town home in August of 2011. Her remains were then found in rural Indiana in April of 2013. Now, according to these newly released documents, investigators with the Butler County Prosecutor's Office, specifically Paul Newton, believe that Carter is responsible for Caitlin's disappearance and death for a list of different reasons. They claim that Carter was the last person to see Caitlin alive on August 13th, 2011. They also say that Carter had scratches on his neck when he was interviewed by police right around that time. They also believe that Carter deleted some text messages that were between him and Caitlin, and they say Caitlin's phone went dark and Carter's phone became inactive within two minutes of each other right around midnight on August 14th, 2011. Now Carter's phone records show that his phone was then inactive for 15 hours. Investigators believe that Carter was also familiar with the site where Caitlin's remains were found because it was close to his father's property in Indiana. The documents also say that Carter took three lie detector tests three different times and all three showed that some of his answers were deceptive. Another new detail is investigators say that several witnesses have described a very strained and tense relationship between Caitlin and Carter in the days, weeks, months leading up to Caitlin's disappearance. We have much, much more on this to come on Fox 19 out 4, 5 and 6 o'clock. For now, Amber. All right, thank you, Jessica.